Good morning. Welcome to Craft Time at the Lisbon Hepburn Library. My name is Michelle McClaggett and I am the director of the library here in Lisbon. And this week our summer reading craft is all about safari animals from Africa. So we are making paper plate puppets and each of the craft kits, if you've already picked one up, will make two of the four animals that I'm going to show you. So you may be making a giraffe or a hippopotamus or an elephant or a zebra. So like I said, each craft kit will have two animals in it to make. So let me push this one out of the way and I'll show you what's in this particular kit so you know what to expect. Now all of the kits are going to have the same basic items in them. Let's put that out of the way and I'll show you with this particular one. So each kit is going to have a sheet on the front that has a picture of each of the four animals so that you have a guide of what you need to do. You will also have another sheet which will be step-by-step -step instructions. Uh, they look quite long. They're not as long as they look because under each step it does give you a little bit of a hint of what to do for each animal. Um, what order to glue things in is generally what you're looking at there. You will also possibly have something at the bottom that you need to cut out. In this case, we would be cutting out the hippopotamus teeth. You'd be cutting out two white pieces out of this. Other kits have other things perhaps that you're going to cut out. And then you're going to have a whole bunch of cardstock and paper that is pre-printed for the most part so that you do not have to cut and trace, you just have to cut. In this case, you have something that is labeled elephant trunk blue paper, and that's going to be the trunk of the elephant. There is elephant inner ear, cut two pieces out of pink paper, your hippopotamus inner ear, so you've got two elephant, two hippos. You also have a hippo nose that's coming out of purple paper, two hippo outer ears, and then you've got two elephant outer ears. So this particular kit would be making the elephant and the hippopotamus. If you have picked up the other kit, you will be making a giraffe and a zebra. In each kit, you will also have two craft sticks. Those will be the handles on your puppet down here. You will have four wiggly eyes, two for each animal and you will have two paper plates. And again, this particular kit was the elephant and the hippo, so there's a gray paper plate and a purple paper plate. If you have a kit that does the giraffe, you will have a yellow paper plate um, and you will have a white paper plate for the zebra. Now, most everything that you're doing is already on the cardstock that you're going to be cutting out or the paper that you're cutting out. It's all been printed with the exception of the zebra. And that is because it is very, very difficult for me to actually print on black paper. So the one we're gonna to make today in this video is going to be the zebra. The supplies that you need to provide from home for all of the kits would be a pair of scissors, some glue, glue stick, or the liquid school glue is fine. And a couple of the kits will require some markers or some crayons. You don't need those for the zebra, but for example, for the elephant, you would need a marker to just give him some wrinkles on his trunk. For the hippo, you would need a marker or a crayon to draw a smile and to draw two tiny little nostrils. And the same thing with the giraffe. You would need some, a marker or crayons to draw a little bit of a smiley face and to draw two little nose nostril holes there. But this one, what you have, and I'm just gonna slide a few things out of the way here. I have already cut all of the pieces out, but you would have a piece of white paper that has a template on it of everything that needs to be cut out. 
and then you will have to trace those onto black paper with a pencil or a pen and cut them out. So let me see what we've got here. The first thing that we have, we have a round circle-ish, ovally circle, and that is going to be the nose. So let's take our glue and we're gonna put some glue on the back side of the nose. And you're gonna be doing similar steps regardless of which animal you have. So just kind of line that up down at the bottom here. I'm gonna smooth it down and then gently kind of press it in to the rest of the paper plate. It doesn't have to be super tightly glued right there in the middle, but you do want it glued around the edge and at the top there. And you may need to add a little glue to the paper plate. There we go. You will also have two itty bitty little white nostrils that you are going to want to glue as well. And normally what I do when I cut things out is I do try and use them upside down when I can, just because you don't see the little lines. So we're going to glue two nostrils onto our zebra's nose. And make sure that those are lined up well enough. All right, we also have two zebra ears. So we will have printed out these white ears. And then we are also going to be cutting out some little black pieces that go in the inside. And you can even see where they go. So we're going to take some glue. and just glue that right into the center. And actually I do want to flip it over and glue it on that side. So we'll take our second one and we'll glue it over here. So that'll give us two ears. Now we wanna take our ears and we wanna glue them onto the back side of the paper plate because they're really sticking up more towards the back of our zebra's head. So line that up right about there. And let's get the other one, some glue on it and see where that's supposed to line up and we'll line that one up we'll say right about there so you just need to give things a little bit of time to glue down and stick so that would be that now you're also going to have a little tuft of hair that goes up at the top of the zebra's head. So that is this piece up here. And you're not gonna glue the whole thing. You're just gonna, once again, like with the ears, run a little bit of glue around that bottom piece down there. And then we'll come along and put that also on the back because it's standing up from the back of our zebra's head. And the other thing you will have, you will have a template to make six little triangle-ish shaped pieces. And that's going to be little zebra stripes that come around the side of his face. So we are going to glue those and you will want to put glue on the whole stripe. And you're going to start with the wider part is going to go at the edge of your paper plate and then just push it down and this one you can push it down pretty tight and it should glue along this curvy part too so we have six of those three for each side and I'm just going to do them opposite each other you don't have to make them symmetrical but I think they probably look a little better that way but you can absolutely do them randomly, whatever works best for you. 
So we'll add a second one on that side. Add some glue to this one. And then I'm just going to just kind of visually match it up with that one. And they may not all be perfectly straight, that's fine. And you want to be sure to press everything down, give it a moment for the glue to actually adhere. I'm moving a little more quickly than I would if I were doing my sample, for example, where I did hold things down a little bit longer, but I don't wanna make the video any longer than it needs to be so that you can get on with your own crafting and not watching me sit here holding pieces of paper down for extended periods of time. All right, so we have our little stripes, we have our ears, we have our little tuft of fur, we have our mouth and our nostrils, which leaves only two things on the front, which will be two of our wiggly eyes. And as I said, each kit has enough supplies to make two animals, so you will have four eyes in your kit and you need two for each animal. So we'll put some glue on those and then we'll line those up where we want them and press those down as well. And then last step we have is our popsicle stick, our craft stick that we're going to put on the back. Now you don't wanna glue it all the way. If you look at the back of this sample, I only put glue on maybe about one third. So just glue on this top part. So we'll put a bunch of glue there. Then let's line this up. We want it to be pretty straight so that the head is straight when we're using our puppet. And then I'm just gonna flip it over and hold it in place for a minute or two and let that glue dry. In the meantime, I can put my glue stick away. And that is going to be our zebra paper plate puppet. The craft stick isn't quite glued down yet. It needs a little more time to sit, but that is the idea. This would be the sample that I started with. This is the one that we just made together right now. So we have put those together. And depending on which craft kit, I hope you enjoy making your giraffe, your hippopotamus, and your elephant. Thank you so much for joining me for craft time today at the Lisbon Hepburn Library. Once again, my name is Michelle McClagan and I am the director of the library here in Lisbon. Our hours in Lisbon are Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 3 to 8 p.m. and Wednesday and Friday from 9 to 5. I look forward to seeing you next week for another craft project. Take care. Bye-bye.